Verbal diarrhea is all that you need. In my exam, I forgot something very crucial, and I was thinking and thinking, oh my goodness. I think there's like 10. I don't know if I'm allowed to talk about this. Hey! Who is this? Van Fye? Oh, look at these blues! Who passed her Oski? I passed my Oski. Ay, ay, ay. Wow. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Wow, wow, wow. Look at me. Do I look cute? This is like my official nursing uniform. Let's just take a moment and look at it. Oh, 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 oh. Been years, months coming to this moment and it finally is here. Oh, it feels amazing. Guys, 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 I just, whoo, I couldn't even believe it. So, obviously, I'm in this uniform, so that means I passed OSCE. So we are going to talk all OSCE and everything you need to know about OSCE. Hey, welcome. My name is Nurse Nyamuch. Uh, so welcome to my channel. I am an overseas new graduate from Canada, currently living in the UK and in the process of becoming a nurse here. Well, now I've become one but I'm waiting for my pen so I'm still there's still a few more steps here and there to get through but anyways we're here we're here now we've made it it's been what one two like January February March oh my gosh it's been so long not even January it's been June July August September October oh my god and it's now what we're in May like it's been so long I've been at this nearly a year since last June I've been at this trying to become qualified here in the UK. Even though I didn't have to go to the English test, it was just lots of nonsense that I had to go through to try and get to this point. So, wow, we're here now. So, woo! Oski, 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 Oski. Terrifying, dun dun dun, like, yeah. It's, it's a shit show, you feel terrified. Oski is the, what does this stand for again? I said it in one of the other videos. Anyways, it's basically another lab test, except it's like a two to three hour lab test that you sit in and you have um, somebody watching you do each skills, okay? So OSCE, final test that you gotta do uh, to become a qualified nurse in the UK here. And so like I said, it's a lab test. It's essentially another lab test where you gotta do various skills and you gotta go through your IADPI and all this stuff. So let's talk about it. How was it? Obviously, I survived it because I'm here now in my blues. Um, so, but how did I prepare for it? What did I do? Let's go. A lot of you international nurses will probably be linked with somebody who will provide you an OSCE courses. Um, because my experience, when I went down to Northern Ireland, there was so many different international nurses, and they were they were provided an, an, an OSCE course. So. My trust that I worked with, luckily, they offered an OSCE course. It was a three-week course, okay? And the three weeks that was on there, two weeks of it was online. So that's just because we're not times of COVID, we couldn't go in the hospital or anything like that. So it was just online. So it was probably from 8.30 in the morning every day till about 4.30, 4-ish. Sometimes we ended a little bit early depending on what topics we had to do. And essentially in that course, they just kind of went through everything that we might need to know on OSCE. So they went through something that you have to do in OSCE. The layout of OSCE is that you have to go through your ADPI. You're going to get a patient and they expect you to do a full assessment. The ADPI minus the diagnosis. So you just, so you would go through your assessment process. And these are each individual stations and you get allocated a certain amount of time to finish these stations. So you would go through your assessment process where you would do, say, not a full head to toe, but you're just kind of doing an assessment on the patient and you're just kind of like, you know, finding out certain things that might be useful for you in order to make a care plan basically on this patient. So you'd go through assessment, you'd go through uh, planning is the next part. What are you going to do for this patient and how are you going to help them? And then you're going to go through evaluation and then, so that evaluation is just kind of reevaluating like what the things that we did, how, are they working effectively, blah, 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 you know, just you evaluating all of that. You're going to be in this station, you're just kind of implementing, like, you're giving them drugs or you're going to give them something that will help alleviate whatever they came in with, 
or you know at that moment chances are most times it's a drug base where they want to see you giving medication and to see if you're giving medication safely and things like that but the assessors are going to choose two skills that you are going to do and there's a list of skills that you can do um, from injections catheterization medication administration again and all this stuff so there's various skills that you got to do and again you're also allocated another certain amount of time say 15 minutes to do these skills and to finish them so that's basically what the OSCE is so my training was a three-week training course and they just kind of uh, went through everything that we might need to know in OSCE and then the last so that was two weeks of that so we just went Monday to Friday sat down on the computer opened it up the zoom did all that they gave us a nice booklet to go through and work through they gave us all the extra supplies they gave us all the equipment that we needed to do the skills and it was a really i would say it was a really really well done course then the last week of it was the in-house skills day essentially so i think we had two of these days where we went into the hospital and we went into the uh, we went into the hospital they set us up somewhere where we got to do all these skills and we got to do mock exams of these uh, mock scenarios where we went through the full you know situation of like the assessment planning diagnosis implementation I keep saying diagnosis assessment planning implementation and then evaluation so we went through all of that and then like it was almost a mock exam essentially and it was <laughs> to be honest it was just as just as nerve-wracking I was like what the heck is this you know it, I was just as scared talking to these assessors who I've been with for three weeks then and you know as I was in OSCE and stuff like that so yes yeah, so we had that for two weeks I'm um, sorry for two days and then we also did our skills it's really neat in that situation too though because during the skills we each didn't have to do every single skills we got downtime and practice times where we could practice these skills but then each day they like highlighted and spotlighted you know each of us and we each did one different skill so it was really interesting to see other people my other cohorts um or my other you know pair peers and everybody else doing the skills differently and for me it was a really cool experience too because I'm doing all this stuff with like people nurses who have been nurses for like years 15 years you know I'm only a new graduate so I was like oh so they were teaching me things too you know like from how they kind of got through all of their stuff so that was a really cool experience so yeah we did that we did the mock exam and then next thing you know we are off to Northern Ireland there are three different locations where you can do it so you can do it in the Oxford Brooks University not sure where that is I know it's somewhere in the UK maybe Oxford no <laughs> somewhere in the UK and the other part is the the other location is the North University of Northampton again somewhere in the UK maybe Northampton don't know and then the last one is Ulster University and this one is in Northern Ireland okay so my trust always just sends their international nurses to Northern Ireland and so we got sent to Northern Ireland the trust paid for all of our flights and all of our accommodations and everything there obviously when we were there we had to pay for our food and such or anything extra but our accommodations and our flights were paid for why not extra day some of us had a really quick turnaround my experience was a really quick turnaround where I got there Thursday my exam was the Friday left the Friday so barely got any time in um, Northern Ireland got the Thursday to kind of see it but you know on the Thursday I was also just focusing on this exam so we got to Northern Ireland the hotel that we stayed at was really cool it was um Holiday Express can't remember but anyways it was really close to the university maybe like 10 no 5 10 minute walk which was nice so that Thursday when we got there we kind of just did a um a recce as my husband would call it and so we kind of just went and walked to the university just to kind of check out where we will be going that morning I went with three I traveled with three other girls that were a part of my group and we all had the exact same uh, exam time we were both I think we were all at was it 1045 I think it was 1045 yeah we were all at 1045 so it was really cool just that experience so 
yeah essentially we got there we settled down we ate we looked around and then we kind of just did like a quick revision of like whatever and just talked through you know whatever we felt like we went 100 percent on made sure we got a good night's sleep and then the next morning we got up nice and early had breakfast which the hotel provided and then um off to our exam so when you go to the oski you have to be wearing some kind of nursing uniform I could have worn my AP one, but I was like, eh, nah. So, but the hospital provided all of us scrubs, so I just wore a pair of scrubs. And scrubs are more comfortable anyway, so I wore a pair of scrubs. So we got to the university. It's absolutely, oh, Ulster University is absolutely beautiful. Northern Ireland was beautiful. I wish I would have had more time there, but again, that's another time. So it was just an absolutely beautiful area. We Northern Ireland, and the people at Ulster University are the most kindest people ever. I can't talk on the other universities and the other locations where you can take OSCE. However, I just know that experience um, in Ulster was wonderful. It was just such a cool experience and they were just so nice there. If you book it on your own, I would recommend it. But again, if your trust is booking it, then you don't really have much of a say on where you're going at that moment in time. Unless you're willing to pay for, you know, all the extra fees that come with going to Northern Ireland. So while we were staying at, it was... COVID time so they didn't have any just like regular people lots of people that were there were international nurses so it's just like it was really cool because they test throughout the whole entire week right so each and every day you see so many different like nurses and like international nurses coming by and we just like see them you could see you know on people's faces somebody was stressed because they just finished the exam thinking about it somebody's happy because they just got their results and all that stuff but you just go to people and you're just like hey like you know just have conversations and stuff like that so that was really neat just to kind of see how many and to see like the effects of like this thing because sometimes as an international nurse you think you're the only one that's going through this at least sometimes I'm like oh my goodness but then when you go to that kind of situation you see the perspective that there's actually like lots of people who are going through this you know experience at this moment in time everything that you need to do I can't remember if you signed a few things I think you do sign a few things they take pictures of you and all that stuff like it's that intense and then um and then you guys you get called and i think the room has about like it's a space of like 10 different i think there's like 10 i don't know if i'm allowed to talk about this but there's like 10 different you know in hospital how you have the curtains and each bed space is yeah so that's essentially what it was i think there was 10 different bed space so you can hear each other but the thing is, you don't have, like, if I can hear my next door neighbor, it's we don't have the same scenario. So you just have to learn to zone that out. But that's just the space of it. Um, because of COVID times, they have changed um, their ways of, I guess, it used to be that you would switch assessor each time. But I believe now, because of COVID times, they've just kept it that that one assessor is the person that's going to review you and assess you the whole entire way. Which is kind of better essentially because now that assessor has seen you in every single step and has seen all of you as a whole rather than you know one assessor sees you do assessment another one sees you see doing planning another one sees you doing evaluation and implementation you know so it's kind of cool that we had that so I had the one assessor and then they will you know offer you you do your one station you get out of the room they reschedule they re you know orientate the room to for the next situation you come back in you go through it you come back out you do that and they'll offer you a bathroom break a drink break throughout all of that and you know just remember to take some deep breaths and you you know it you know it's not that you don't know this stuff it's not that you're doing this stuff for the first time chances are you've been doing this stuff for years it's just a little bit more difficult and nerve-wracking knowing that this could be your license here on the line in the sense of where if you're going to get your license or not but that's not to say that you're not going to get your license because you just if you do fail you just do it again and remember that when you are in this situation verbal diarrhea is all that you need and just say absolutely everything you're doing and say everything that you are, you know, touching and all this stuff. Say whatever is coming to your mind. You break sterile fields. Say that. Because if you don't say anything, the assessor might not know that you knew that you broke sterile fields, you know? Or that you knew you forgot something. In my exam, I forgot something very crucial. And I was thinking and thinking, oh my goodness, how am I... And I just said it, you know? I said my mistake and I fixed my mistake I just talked and said this is what I would have done this is what I did wrong and so and that helped me essentially 
but that's the thing you just have to say it the best thing is you say it and it helps the worst thing is you say it and it doesn't help so just remember to say whatever is on your mind in that situation if it's gonna if you feel that it might help that situation because just being silent they might just see oh they they didn't say it so that means they didn't know it whereas you knew to say it but you just didn't you know what i mean so just say everything that you're going that you're um yeah that's coming to your mind practice 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 and Obviously, you've done it. I know you've done this somewhere else. You've done it a certain way. Do it the way they're doing it here. Do it the way they want you to do it here. Practice, practice, practice. Every day, hand hygiene. You know, do the seven steps of hand hygiene. Say it out loud, you know. Palm to palm. Pinks, practice, practice. Every single night, you know. There were some nights, I'm not going to lie. There were some nights where I was like, I couldn't be bothered to just practice. But then there was other nights where I created a study group. Or we created a study group within my cohorts of four people. And we kept each other accountable. And we kept each other on top of things. Where, you know, there would be some nights, some days that I was lazy. But then the next day, we'd have a group study session where then now I'm forced to actually study you know if you're one of those people who can't study on their own form a group with some people and actually study with them every single day you know or whenever you can life is different life is difficult so there's gonna be some moments but just practice 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 use your family members you will do fine you're gonna do great you're going to get your OSCE exam and you know the people at Holster they want you to pass they want you to pass they know that you can do it they know you've been practicing for however long back in your country or wherever you came from you know kind of thing like so they want that success for you so just you know talk it out talk through them ask you know if you have a question ask it they might not be they might just tell you I can't answer this question because it's part of the exam or they might answer it. you never know again like if you just have a thought ask it but that was my Aussie experience. I would say it was such a great experience and all throughout, you know, from the training all the way to the end of it. I'm one of those people after every single exam, no matter how confident I am, I overthink it. I overthink it and I think I failed, I failed, I failed. And I think this every single time until those results come. And I thought this every single, the whole entire flight home I thought this, the whole entire bus ride to Belfast I thought this, you know, the whole entire journey home from the hospital to here at midnight or one o'clock in the morning I thought this. The whole entire morning until my results came I thought this, you know, and that's just my negative way of thinking which is bad, you know, I should be a little bit more, I was confident in myself in certain things but there was one thing I knew I didn't do right that I was like, is that the, am I gonna make it or am I not gonna make it kind of thing, so it was really cool. The results came out fast. I think they do give themselves that time period of a week. Is it a week? I'll check my email. Anyways, I'll write it down below if it's changed. But I think it's a week they give themselves a time period. But in all fairness, the results came back the next day. Even though the next morning. I received my results the next morning. It was beautiful. They don't tell you what you did wrong. And so with when regards to results, you can have a partial, you can have a pass. A partial fail or a full fail. So a partial fail means that you just failed a certain a station and then you're gonna have to do that certain station you don't have to do anything else and again the pricing will be different according to that and then a full fail is that you have to do the whole exam entire exam um, again but when you do fail they do give you the feedback and they tell you what you failed on and what you could have done differently I believe so and then if you pass they just don't tell you they just say you passed so Yes. So guys, I hope that was useful in regards to OSCE. Um, let me know. I might do some videos on like some of the things that I had to learn for OSCE and stuff like that. But leave a comment down below if that is something that you guys would be interested in. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you later.